All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, most of us who caught the uh, simulcast on all coast uh, should be all caught up on the BET Awards. I am Miss Sophia the Diva, and I just want to hop on here. For those of you who are available, let's talk about these BET Awards. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not fully versed, but between my friend Nayla and Serena and Karima, y'all all get a shout out because y'all are terrible. Y'all, I was not gonna watch the BET Awards, but because of y'all, Karima, Serena, and Nayla, Y'all posting all this craziness. That's why I sit up here and watch the last, what, three, four hours, and I'm a butt numb from sitting so long. Either way, I must say that I think that comedian Leslie Jones uh, did a great job hosting. I know some of you were like, oh my God, why is she so loud and extra? That's just Leslie Jones. If y'all been following her since the days of uh, Dev Comedy Jam, she always been loud like that. I ran into her one night down at the Comedy Union. I wasn't performing. I was there supporting. And uh, she was like, you are so tall. And I was like, oh, my God, so are you, okay? Uh, but I think Leslie Jones did an excellent job uh, keeping uh, the show going. I especially want to shout out to, Na <laughs> to my friend Nayla. When she said she could not believe that any of us born uh before 1980 actually listen to some of the music that we listen to and actually dance to it because we speak english we don't know what some of these rappers are saying these days i personally have seen it coming since the days of uh what's the name of them the hot boys uh that lil wayne uh, lil gremlin came out of we we ain't we Rappers ain't been speaking English for a long time. I, I personally still don't know any songs by Migos. People talk about them. Maybe I'll put them on my, to pull them up on Tidal and see what comes up. I don't know. I don't know anything about Migos. Um, but let me see what it, now I missed the first hour. Uh, so let's see, what else did she comment on? Cause that stuff had, that's when I started watching. It's like I said, this is just team too much. Okay. So no one understands my leniency i don't give him a pass i just love chris brown i'm sorry he did a good job but let me tell you something bt staples whoever y'all sound engineers are y'all messed up i caught how y'all messed up chris brown's performance i caught how y'all messed up mary j blige's performance with those terrible sounds so somebody getting fired somebody gonna have a job y'all gonna be down at the edd office tomorrow okay if you you know, live and work in the state of California. Okay, that was terrible. I caught that, how y'all messed that up. I think Chris Brown did a, a great job performing, but, uh, you know, I know he's been in the news again because Karuchi did recordings and all this stuff of him and his bad behavior. Honestly, I think he's just misguided and he needs some counseling and he needs his mama or his aunt or somebody drag his ass down to a doctor's office and get on some meds and get some serious counseling done. That's just my opinion. Um, so, you know, some people don't understand why I ride for him. I see something in him that a lot of people probably don't because you can't see past the bad. Everyone's entitled to a second chance I don't think Chris Brown was ever given a second chance honestly Karuchi was willingly a willing participate in giving him a second chance she found out the hard way and maybe you shouldn't have I, I too have learned that maybe you shouldn't give people a second chance but that's neither here nor there didn't Mary J. Blige, she was serving a silver surfer tease, okay? I was like you better go ahead with your Vegas show girl outfit and show can do what he working with up here asking for all this money. People talking about that she was on the other foot. My thing is, as a man, you should be ashamed of yourself asking for that kind of money and then gonna post on Instagram how you still love her and how you didn't want to air out your dirty laundry. Really? Really can do. So she was serving you something and you realize I, I miss that girl. I want that. I want her to come home in that outfit and we can play role play in that. I think that's what Kendu was thinking. I could be wrong, but that's just me. Uh, but I think she did a great job performing despite the sound engineers uh, having problems with her uh, sound. Diddy came out to promote this bad boy movie that's going to be released on Apple's iTunes. Uh, I shouted out a couple of my sorors. Back in the day, we were team bad boy all day, every day. In college, when we graduated, we were all going to go to New York and we were going to go work for bad boy. Boy, we dodged a bullet, didn't we? Because otherwise, we could have been down here 
to uh, one of these clubs down here just be doing promotions. Life after bad boy. This is what we doing. We passing our flies. And for every person that show up with our fly, we get a little cut of the entry fee. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm having technical difficulties right now with my little stand. For some reason, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Honey, because I just knew I was going to go work for Bad Boy, but that didn't work out, and I'm glad it didn't. I guess the only place I really should want to work is Sean John, actually, because that line of clothing is still in Macy's. I had to ask, who was that performer with MJB? Because I'm not familiar with all these young rappers. ASAP Rocky, I think. Yeah. Um, for some reason, my friend Karima, who was before, born before the 80s, she know everybody. I, I don't I don't know. I love her because she know everybody. Jamie Foxx, child, the teleprompter. That's another thing. What was up with the teleprompters? If y'all didn't notice, a lot of these people came out there and they were reading. Well, now that I think about it, after Leslie Jones announced towards the end of the show that she still had some weed, I realized a lot of these people had lit up on that good California weed. And that's why some of them were talking like they had no emotion. I said they must have hit that stuff that, that make it, you know, turn zombie. Um... But Jamie Foxx was trying to promote his movie. I did. I loved what Leslie Jones had to say about him, though, in the fact that when she bombed the second time she went on stage, which to this day, I will never forget my second time, I bombed. I had just done my very first comedy show on Saturday. On Sunday, I attended my friend's fitness competition. The promoter learned that I was a stand-up comedian, and my friend really, really wanted me to get some stage time, so she had me get up there and look a hot fool, because at that time, I, had, I was still taking notes up on stage, like note cards. But she said that Jamie Foxx told her, you know, get a little life experience or whatever. But Jamie was on struggle trying to read from the teleprompter. But we think he had had a good time backstage with a little something, something. But the struggle was real with that teleprompter. Justice Smollett, I don't know if he got an identity crisis going on, but I thought it was Eric Benet at first. I said, now, if he take off his shoes, that might be Eric Benet. I don't know. What y'all think? Uh, but he looked totally different to me. I don't know, but I haven't been watching Empire either. Um, I've never heard of this little kid named Khalid. My friend Karima swears uh, his song Location is a big hit on the radio. I really don't listen to radio, so it might be why I don't know. But I know that doing that part of the BT Wars, I almost fell asleep. Um, but actually, I, I took the dog outside. But, okay. Um, my friend Kenny says, according to him, that he is the best thing out of El Paso, Texas. I thought it was the UTEP, but basketball team, but okay. Uh, I can never remember her last name, but Yara from Blackish, um, I love this young lady. Uh, she was so deserving of the BET award that she got as being a young person. When they announced that Jaden Smith was in the cast, what his old ass need to do in the category? That boy been in the industry longer than any of them. Y'all need to get that award somebody. He don't need no award. But then again, his mama might start something by her son not winning this award. I don't know. But, uh. Yeah. But anyways, I love her because she is so in touch. And I love the fact that she pointed out the fact that this was the birthday of Tamir Rice. Uh, but I know that she is being raised very well. I, I had the uh, privilege of meeting her and her mother. And you can tell that her mother does a very good job of making sure that her and her siblings are very well educated on who they are. Okay, and who their people are and their responsibilities uh, for this world. More and more young people need to be educated in that way. That way the world can be a better place. Uh, we can tell that by Chance the Rapper as well. Escape! Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the Escape beat. Just kick in. Just Wait a minute. Let me do it like it. Uh, just kick in. Just kick in. I said, like, what the hell is wrong with Candy? But they started out with, what I need from you is understanding. And Tiny was singing that song from the heart. Because you know, Tiny done been through some things with that tip boy. That little Clifford Harris. So is it Clifford? Yeah, Clifford Harris. You know, he out here talking about he don't want to be a husband. He don't like the responsibility of being a husband. He needs to sound somewhere. He just little talk. I can't say a man like that. Just shut the hell up. If you don't want to be married, don't get married. That's what you shouldn't have done. You shouldn't have made three or four babies with her. Because one of them, she lost. And almost lost her life. Boy, bye. Uh, but I was so ready. Candy came out with there with her five bundles. Um, Tasha and Tamika were working it. Um, 
they just all looked really good and i think that uh T Candy has lost some weight since we saw her last on the uh, Real House Housewives of Atlanta reunion. So I was really excited about that. But Candy, I need for you to call the vocal coach because we're going to need to get you together before tour. It, it tiny sounded really good, but she been through some stuff. So she's singing from her soul. Okay, so I need for you to get together. I know you happy right now, but just channel the... Ha well, yeah, the hate you have for Phaedra Parks. There you go. That might work for you. That's why I was typing Candy Hip Lewis. Somebody need help her with these struggle vocals, Jesus. Uh, what was wrong with my cousin? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my cousin. Y'all know I'm related to Beyonce now, okay? I am their cousin, okay? Cousin Solange, I think she hit that good stuff, okay? Because she was like, and today we want to introduce old girl for her activism in the community. And I was like, what kind of teleprompter? I said, is the teleprompter going that slow or your brain moving that slow? Girl, say it with some soul, with some heart. Say it from your heart like you got cranes in the sky. You want to seat at the table. Do something, Solange. Just, I mean, are you tired? Are you doing baby duty? I mean, I know our niece and nephew is here. Okay, so we need to make sure that they okay. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I can't stand future, but I do love that something. Mask off. Mask off. Chase a chick, never chase a bitch. I was like, I don't know why I like this song, but you know it really get me going on the elliptical. Okay, I don't know why, but it do something to me on the elliptical. <sighs> Nayla, once again, uh, she decided to tell us that uh, when Future took his mask off, she said she saw Meryl Streep. Help Jesus. I'm going to say her name even though I can't stand her. Uh, Tamar... Uh, My comment about her performance was some performances I just can't acknowledge. But since I have to talk about her and her, my name is Storm. I'm trying to audition for a part in the next X-Men. I think I might be channeling my inner Beyonce, even though I am the rhythmless one. I said, if she don't get her ass up off that damn flow, um, working that damn, um, wig weave but I, I did like what Masora had to say she told her husband I want our marriage to be as strong as Tamar's wig glue I said I cannot I cannot with you you need to stop go get in the corner right now but either way y'all know I'm not here for Tamar anymore uh she's shown her ass one too many times and she's the reason why I stopped watching Braxton Family Value Oh, damn, I ain't got nothing else to drink in here. Damn. My friend Nayla said, Tamar, baby girl, I love you, but take that Marvel uh, Universe. By the way, did anybody notice the fact that this must be the year of the Platinum Blonde? Because everybody had on Platinum hair. Platinum Blonde hair. I would find mine. I don't know where one of my. You know, I got about four or five different Platinum looking wigs. I don't know where they are right now. I had to dig them out from somewhere. But everybody see, all the women seem to be wanting to be platinum. I'm like, why don't you embrace your, yeah, embrace your inner blackness? I don't know. Let's, um, let's just all be brown or black. No, I'm, I'm kind of blonde. I have this reddish Cooper, copper thing going. I don't know. Once again, every year y'all let Deborah Lee come out here looking like somebody's granny uh, from the country church in the backwoods. I said... You know what? But I believe word on the street is this will probably be Deborah uh, Lee's last year at BET anyway. Uh, so we might not have to see her come out looking like she be looking. And I said, you know what? Y'all could have hired me as a damn stylist. I could have came and hooked Deborah Lee up. Because we do something about that ill-fitted dress she had on. And I said, we need work some more on that makeup too, Deborah Lee. Okay. Uh, help, Lord. Chance the Rapper was honored with the Humanitarian Award this year. As you know, I believe it was last year when we heard from Jesse uh, Williams. But this year we heard from Chance the Rapper, who you know is more so to me, because I really don't know his music other than you don't want no problems with me. Uh, and I know the city of Chicago, Shut the Hill, don't want no problems with Chance the Rapper because he's been checking him. And I really admire this young man for his activism and his ability, uh, as young as he is, to see that there is a need and he wants to go out and help people. And I think that, you know, a lot of us 
even in our capacity, we may not have money, but we can help change lives just like Chance the Rapper, whether we have money or not, okay? You can go right in your church and grab a child and save a life. There you go. But I did, I love the fact that he got them together. Uh, Michelle Obama sent in a recording. I was very disappointed that they were not there because I, I would be staked out right now at the Staples Center looking for Michelle. Um, but I was like, of course y'all ain't down to the BET Awards. Michelle, you and Barack just left us. Y'all out here globe trotting and just left our asses out here with that little orange oompa loompa in the office. Him and his cheating ass wife. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, I was glad I was glad to see uh Mrs. O. Uh, you know, say how much she appreciates the chance and consider him to be a friend because they've known him since he was a little kid. So I thought that was awesome. But he spoke a word, honey. And by the way, Chance, if you ever see this video, seriously, I'm your girl. If you want someone that's going to help you uh, change the world and travel the world, I'm not just doing it because I want to travel. I'm doing it because I too want to make a difference. I, too, am the one that wants to help change uh, children's lives, especially because I believe that sometimes some adults are so far gone that maybe if we start from the beginning, we can make a change that will span a lifetime and for generations to come. OK, Maxwell performed. He did his song. Uh, what is it? Game. You played the game of gods. Um, that's not one of my favorites. My favorite is a song called 1987. It makes me feel sexy. Like I need to go get in a bubble bath and break out some Stella Rosa Moscato or something. I'm just saying. He should have done that song. I'm the song. I know my sister Tanya loves him. <sighs> when I said his ass and uh, gave the side eye, I was referring to... Uh, um, that, that man they call Tyrese Gibson. He got on my nerves. Uh, scroll on. Uh, and he did an awful job of, 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 of announcing the deceased. And I thought it was really sad when they said the first director of the BET Awards had died. And nobody really clapped. And then when they said Prodigy, everybody clapped. Um, honestly, I think most of the people in there didn't know who half these people were. Uh, they did a dedication to Chuck Berry. You know, he just recently died. Um, they also did one of the best tributes I have seen uh, to date for George Michael because Adele did not do it justice. Um, she, uh, we had uh, El DeBarge. Y'all, El DeBarge looked good. Oh my God, he looked good. Um, that man looked good because you know sometimes lately El been looking like he been back on that stuff again. So I was like, I'm glad that he looked clean and sober. He looked good in that little red suit. My cousin up here hollering back, can I get that red suit? I was like, oh my god. Okay, yeah, Karima, he really, he really looks good. Um, and he did that song so much justice. I mean, I was like, so I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. So it's easy to, I was like, oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. You know, cause I love me some George Michael back in the day, you know, but like we all said, we should realize he was gay when he had them little shorts on, um, will wake me up before we go go when it was wham you know but I, I was always hopeful I was always hopeful I really was because that was one good looking man okay um which turns out I was right because I was like he's English but he don't look like the typical English I realize now he's Greek actually or his father was Greek so anyways rest in peace still to this day my friend Nayla has no chill once again y'all will hear about her throughout this episode she said Tyrese was like shoot this LSG tuxedo jacket still fit it's on BET I need for her to go get in the corner right now expeditiously but thank you BET for getting the tribute right for uh George Michael because even though technically he wasn't like black I mean he he brought something to the table for black music. I was glad to see a proper shout out was given uh, for New Edition. Um, we talk so much about cultural appropriation out of the black community. 
and we see it all the time and this is not to alienate or defend because you know I'm about being all inclusive but let's give credit where credit is due without new addition not to mention some of their predecessors like the Jackson 5 which is what we learned in the movie is what they were really going for but had no idea that their careers would span 35 years okay so far because they still going they be on stage like they still 12 okay but I was glad to see new kids on the block, you know, give a shout out and say there wouldn't be no Backstreet Boys, there wouldn't be no new kids on the block and all these other boy bands that came after people like New Edition or the group New Edition. So I was glad. I loved how BET, BET gave me so much life during this Lifetime Achievement Award performance for them by using the stars from the New Edition uh, movie. It was beautiful. It was wonderfully done. It was so nice to see all six of them in the front row. Uh, Nayla, I see you just joined. Girl, I've been talking about you through this whole video. You can go back and catch it on the playback way back. But girl, you crazy. I love you. That's why I love you. Because you're crazy. Great minds. You got that crazy. Ha ha. I'm not crazy. I need to be on medication. That's all I'm saying. But I was so glad that they, they gave that to them. Uh, I, I don't know who the dude was that was... Uh, doing a Johnny Gill number, but he went Bobby Brown doing the uh, episode. Uh, <sighs> Ralph Trezevant, I don't know if he back on that stuff again, but he kind of looked like it. I hate to say that, but let's just be real. Uh, but he did look like he was some, it looked like he was somebody's uncle at the family's backyard barbecue. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I said, who Uncle Charlie out here doing? Okay, let me stop. Um, one of the things that I will say about this award that I, I don't recall hearing or seeing, I don't know if it's because it's 2017 and Oompa Loompa is in the office or what, but I know it's a lot of people were giving glory and praise to God. Amen. For whom all blessings flow. And I don't know if maybe it was Sunday. I don't know if anybody was still in the spirit. I don't know. But I noticed a lot of people were speaking a word. Pastor Gill, Johnny Gill that is, uh, he spoke a word. Bobby Brown, I mean, baby. Bobby! Bobby! Bobby sounded like he got cotton balls in his mouth. My friend George swears he sounded like that 20 years ago. I said, I don't remember Bobby sounding like that because I used to watch Bean Bobby Brown. He didn't sound like that. He sound like his tongue is thicker than a Williams chicken wing. And if you're from Dallas or from Texas, period, you know what I'm talking about. Pastor Bell, Ricky Bell, you know, he been through some things too, amen. He said that God's grace is sufficient. I said, oh, hallelujah, I feel touched by the Spirit, amen. Go ahead. Look him, okay. We saw look him. Look him look good. Now, she was running around here looking like memoirs of a geisha not too long ago. Uh, but it looks like she somebody then took her under their wing. Maybe they sponsored her corrective plastic surgery. Um, but the girl look good. She don't look like whitewashed and like she just went in and got her some damn uh, gold medal flower and put it on her face. I'm just saying. But that West trainer had me uncomfortable and I didn't even have no, I said, if she, can she breathe? Cause I, I feel as though I'm suffocating just looking at her. You know, I'm just saying, um, look him girl. I will say this and I don't know if you will ever see this clip, but girl, you were beautiful when you were in junior mafia. You know, talking about, uh, what was my favorite song? Oh, I can't say if. What was the name of the song? Shit, why am I drawing a blank? Help me, Don. Help me. Because I know all of Lil' Kim's little dirty lyrics. And now I can't remember anything with drawing a blank. Uh, 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 uh. Blow you up to your girl like your army grenade. Yeah, I can't, I don't know. Maybe I'm having, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm tired. Kendrick Lamar won an award. I don't remember why, but I did like the fact that he said, as long as we got God, basically, as long as he got God, he good. God, family, you know, whatever. I said, dude, were you in the military? Because that's what we say. Issa Rae, first of all, somebody introduced, they introduced the group coming after Issa Rae was coming out. Because Issa Rae came out to introduce some girl named Zaza. Zaza. I don't know what her name is. She reminded me, and Kenny gonna slap me. I love you, Kenny. Uh, she reminded me of Erica Badu, K. Michelle, with a touch of Jodie Wiley from 1980s when she was talking about it's still a thrill. That's that's 
that's what I felt that was coming from this girl I ain't never heard of. My friend Andrea says she love her. I'm going to check her out and pull her up on Title. And yes, I do support Title. If we don't support our own, who else will? And Jay-Z has made goo gobs of money from Title. Okay, plus you know that's my family members anyway. So you know I got to support family. Y'all know I'm part of the Beyonce, Jay-Z, Tina family. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, what's the name of her album? I think her album is called Control. Her name is spelled S-Z-A. For those of you who didn't know, I didn't know. I never heard of her. Like I said, I really don't listen to the radio. I don't know what's going on, so I can't tell you. That's why I was like, Harpo, who this woman? I don't know her. She got on these chaps. Uh, she look a little like Erica Badu. Like, she, you know, maybe she Earth Mama. I don't know. But Soror posted, who is the chick with the chaps on in front of this field of flowers? <laughs> By the way, BET, next time y'all decide to do a moving runner, make sure those people can actually walk on it. I saw Cardi B. By the way, she looked very good tonight. Almost eat it. Okay, tonight. I see the legal team intervened right on time because someone could have slipped and fell and your budget could have been wrecked for the next five years. Exculpatory clauses be, be damned. They are so easy to maneuver. That boilerplate language y'all use trying to get people to sign away their rights. Not always a good idea. I'm just saying. But either way, I'm glad y'all cut that out because there was no need for that. I mean, it was cute. Now everybody can be Beyonce. Now Beyonce and her girls, they can do the damn thing on the damn moving runner. Me on the other hand, Y'all would have been paying for my broken ankle. And the fact that I can't wear stilettos, y'all would always have to pay for me some bomb-ass damn ballet flats. That's all I'm saying. With orthotics. I was so glad to see that Cousin Beyonce won an award for Sorry. I can't remember. Kareem, are you still on here? Was it the Fan Award? But either way, the cute little girls, well, they're not so little anymore. But I met them, like... Four years ago at an NAACP luncheon right before the Image Awards when they announced who the nominees are. Uh, but Chloe and Haley, they, uh, Chloe and Haley, uh, they are signed to Beyonce's Parkwood Records label. And y'all know Cousin Beyonce is in the um, hospital with our little niece and nephew. Mm-hmm. And uh, so she couldn't be there, but she wrote a great uh, acceptance speech. And, you know, I hope y'all ain't going to dog her this time because I hope y'all didn't think she was supposed to get about the damn bed and show up at the BET Awards to get an award she may or may not win because I'm tired of y'all dragging my cousin. That's all I'm saying. Remy Ma. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Now, some people say, I think that tonight with Remy Ma's look, she looked like she could be like Michelle Obama's cousin or sister or somebody. She looked really good, and I'm glad she won. I'm glad she made out that fake Nicki Minaj. What's her name? Nicki Minaj, whatever her name is. I just, I'm not here for Nicki Minaj. I will say this, the pink print or whatever it was called, there were quite a few songs on there that I did like. But other than that, I really don't check for Nicki Minaj at all. I love the fact that DJ Kali likes being a, being a dad. He is so happy to have his son. I mean, it is like, that is his reason for living. If that man was about to just give up on life, when that son was born, his son is everything. I thought it was so cute. He had on a little suit. He had on the little, little headphones to protect his ears. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Fatherhood for him has done him, him very well. Um, Irv Gotti is back. I saw Waka Faka Fame's wife, Tammy Rivera, on there. I guess she'll be starring in this new BET series called Tales. I will definitely be trying to check that out. I probably won't be reviewing it, though. Uh, but other than that, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the 2017 BET Awards. Like I said, I apologize if this is really just a partial and quick review. My flash thoughts on everything that's happening or happens. I missed the first hour. I didn't even realize it was on. But my cousin... And I, we set up and we key, key, keyed about this whole uh, thing. And I mean, I was up getting it with my new edition steps. Y'all know that I grew up, like I've known about new edition since my very first song, I think was Candy Girl or Mr. Telephone Man. It was one of them. But either way, uh, you know, I'm a diehard. Uh, Ralph Trezvant kind of scared me with what he said, though, because I'm like, Oh, I hope he makes it through this tour because he told his kids he know he ain't always around. And once he's done with this tour thing with New Edition, he will definitely be um, 
he would definitely be home for them. And I'm like, oh, Lord, please let him make it because he looked like he on that stuff again. I could be wrong. This is all speculation. But Ralph just didn't look good to me tonight. Um, also, um, they are going back on tour. So I'm definitely going to try to check them out uh, when they come to L.A. Bradley, did uh, Bruno perform in the first hour? Because I didn't see him perform, but I know that he won an award. I know that Bruno Mars did win an award. He's so cute. I love him. He's such a damn good, uh, he's such a damn good performer. What else was it about the BET Awards? I think that Leslie Jones did an excellent job hosting. I love how she did her her skits. The one that got me, that had me dying, was well, the one that I saw, saw, besides the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, was the one where she said, uh, 5,000, um, he doesn't look good, Bradley. He doesn't look good. Um, Ralph Trezvet does not look good to me. Um... Bobby, I need for you to go on a diet, put down chicken wings, and not always be sampling what you be in there cooking, because I know you can cook your ass off. Um, I lost my train of thought just that fast. Um, help me, help me, help me. Okay, good. Good, good. I, Bruno always, he is a great performer. I don't think a lot of people realize that, but he is really a great performer. And he's a great showman. He's a great writer, great vocal. I mean, he's he is the package with his little self. He's so cute. I love him. I was trying to think of something else that happened. But yeah, the technical things, BET, I know, you know, things happen. But I need for y'all to work that out because y'all messed up on my child's while he was up there performing. I don't care what y'all say about Chris Brown. I love him. I I believe that he is going to turn his life around in the name of Jesus, okay? Mary J. Blige, they messed up her sound. But either way, I think BET overall, this was a great awards. Okay, yeah, Chance the Rapper won Best New Artist. I think that's it. I think Cardi B looked really good. I noticed she was nominated for quite a few things. Uh, that was amazing. But I think that's all I've got. Anybody else got anything to add? Because I'm about to log off. I got to finish editing my power video, which I did earlier today, to get that uploaded. And I've got some other. Bradley, that was more than one drink. Yeah, Chance Chai City. Bradley says that Chance Chai City, the rapper, sent a strong message. Yes, he did. We talked about that earlier. I also put it out there that if Chance needed people to assist with the movement, I would definitely be down with it uh yeah don i agree that was more than one drink that's a little bit more but it is la y'all and i think that quite a few people hit some zombie weed that good stuff we got so uh i wouldn't be surprised if that because even solange seemed out of it a couple of other people came out and was like out of it Issa ray <laughs> Issa ray looked so good looked like Issa ray had lost some weight that little outfit she had on was very cute she talking about this song had me when she said she had me wanting a temporary Negro or something, I was like, okay, girl, get it how you live. But there was something else I was thinking about saying. Let me go back through my uh, Facebook feed. We could have done without, uh, I don't know that kid, but I, that was, I didn't appreciate it. I think that's it. Girl, there is so much weed at the different dispensaries that we have here in California until you just never know what you're going to get. I feel BET needs to have BET Awards Trendsetter Awards. Do you think that should be an award or an award show, Bradley? Just to clarify, I think you mean show, but I just want to clarify. Heck yeah, Don, you get deaf. Like, nah, you can't like hear. Yeah. Okay, I think a show. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work, but we'll see. Um, but anyways, I'm going to log off because, like I said, I'm trying to finish uh, editing my power video. But other than that, this is a big, rich town. I'm about to be living in the poorest part. Ugh, California's. I can't afford it. Just can't afford it. And if what you call them don't get it together with my damn, uh, I'm going to be out there across the street in the park. I'm telling you that right. Well, we ain't got no park because they done took that over the Civic Center area in Long Beach. Either way, I'll be somewhere across the street down around. Maybe I'll be hanging out at the damn uh, 7-Eleven up there on Pine. That's all I've got. I want to thank you guys who did join the conversation. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Karima. Uh, thank you, everyone. But again, um, 
let's go out and take the challenge, the chance the rapper has given all of us, the same challenge in some respects that even Jesse Williams had laid out for us as a black community. Let's go out and try to connect with our community, especially our young people, because they really need us now, okay? Um, but other than that, that's all I've got. I've been Miss Sophia the Diva. For my YouTube people, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, comment, thumbs it up, and tell me what you thought about this year's BET Awards 2017. Uh, well, you guys have been all that, and um, I have been Miss Sophia the Diva.